Sophie Doll is with us. Uh, she's written a brand new book. It's called Madame Badoubada. Uh, Madame Badoubada is out now in hardback and audiobook. It is a gorgeous book, beautifully illustrated by Lauren O'Hara. Okay. Um, what, what have you been talking to our guest about without permission from anyone? Perfect uh, perfect books, haven't we? And we added um, we added Ian McEwen's on Chesil Beach. What do you mean we? Are you some kind of item, <laughs> literary item now? You're a collective. Yeah. What's going on with him? We are now the literary collective. Yeah. Um, Chekhov's short story, The Kiss. Oh, Chekhov. Uh, yeah, Chekhov. Check off yourself. <laughs> and then we talked about and taking talked about- our trousers off. <laughs> <laughs> but for good reason. Uh, okay, on but, stage. But he's, I mean, he's taking hyperbole to another level today, isn't he? He says, oh, I took my, I took my trousers off at the Cheltenham Literary Festival. <laughs> no, you didn't. Of all the places that you're going to take your trousers off, mm. it's very, it's a very highbrow one. Sophie, so, yeah. Sophie, where'd you write? How'd you write? Who'd you write? I know, I know your grandpa famously, famously wrote in that shed at the bottom of his garden, yes. didn't he? Where do you write? I write the kitchen table. I write at the kitchen How table. Is that? How is that with the traffic? The kitchen traffic. It's uh, it's it's noisy, and then I complain that everyone has disturbed me. Ah, oh, good excuse. So it's a ploy. I see. Um, so I start at the kitchen table, and then often I migrate upstairs because normally at the kitchen table I will have a feral dog or a cat mm. or some creature climbing on me. Um, so I end up upstairs um, where the doorbell doesn't ring in quite the same way, and um, yeah. See, you even talk like you write, where the doorbell doesn't ring in quite the same way. That's a great <laughs> sentence. Yeah. Right, you've got to use that, Sophie. That's great. Okay. Uh, Becky in sunny Ribble Valley says, Sophie's new book is definitely top of my list for my gorgeous uh, niece, Mabel. I'm sure she'll love it for obvious reasons. And the reason your book, in my opinion, my humble opinion. Yes. Not my hyperbolized opinion, my humble opinion. Um, ends up being a bit longer than a short story is because you have some lovely assigns in it. And obviously, you know, that is a, a, a stream of consciousness. When do you decide to leave those in and how much do you have to take out before it just gets a bit too gobbledygooky? It's a good question. I think the it's the beauty, one of the many beauties of children's books is you have to get to the point. So you can't bang on too much. So I think in my grown-up books, I might bang on a bit. <laughs> Right. But I think in children's you have to be more succinct. And it's one of the one of the many great things about them. There's a book that if you don't know of it, you should read and it's by Catherine Rundell and it's called Why We Should Read Children's Books. Why you should read children's books even though you are so old and wise. <laughs> and it's all about the lessons that great children's books teach us. Right. Um that we forget about when we're grown-ups and they are that people make it through adversity that wit matters that empathy matters that compassion matters and you forget in the sort of the classics of your childhood that that's where you first learnt about about that stuff give kids tips on on writing how making stories up for homework you just gave a great tip off the air there so i think tips for writing stories off home i think that i think don't worry about your ending i think that endings don't have to be endings they can be somewhere somewhere in the middle because life keeps carrying on other good tip I have is to really think about what happens to you during the day and write interesting things down. So if you notice a suspicious character, <laughs> <laughs> write down what was suspicious about them. Where do you write all your ideas down? Anywhere. Uh, I've, just, got notebook- I've just got notebooks. You just get them of, down. L- yeah. A back of the hand sometimes. Well, no, they're just in weird. I find them sort of mixed in with shopping lists right. and odd. Yeah. Good for you. And how much of your time would you, would you say you spend writing? Um, now, Every pretty, day? pretty much much of my time, yeah. Did you always think you'd end up doing this? Well, it's, so it was what I always wanted to do. And then I had a sort of series of happy accidental <laughs> right. um, career forays. and um, <laughs> But it was always the thing that I was sort of doing Good in the background. I was, a, I was a big reader. That was the thing I did first. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sky.